morning, everybody. I'm the guest, but we're going to start just because it's fun. Let me interview you to start off. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Good morning, everyone. Kings and queens, right? We're talking kings, kings and queens. And queens. Yes. My name is Natasha Renee, a.k.a. Miss I Set the Standards, and I am the guest here with the real queens, the real realtors. Agents. agents, the real yes, agents of Charlotte, real agents of Charlotte <laughs> here at Level Up Realty, and um, I have here this amazing queen of realtor. What's your name? And I'm her I guest. am <laughs> exactly. She is my guest. I am, but she's a speaker, so obviously, naturally, she will be speaking. We're gonna have fun with this. I am Jasmine Ray, your real OG real agent of Charlotte here at Level Up Realty. And I'm so honored to have Natasha Irwin here to talk to me and to tell you guys some information about her and what she does out here in Charlotte. Natasha, thank you so much. I'm excited. For coming and talking to me, taking time out of your busy schedule. You really did answer the call when we asked if there were any any small business owners here in Charlotte mm -hmm. who wanted to be interviewed yeah. and I appreciate you for coming. Well, I appreciate the opportunity. I'm excited about it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. So first, let's tell people what we're drinking this morning. <laughs> this here. <laughs> I like this cup though. First of all, let's say that. Level Up Real Tea Coffee with the Queen. This you know, cup is dope. Tried. Yeah, this we cup tried. Is dope. So I got butter toffee coffee. Yes. That's it fast. Butter toffee coffee. But <laughs> let's say it fast three but, times. Butter, butter toffee coffee. coffee. Butter, butter toffee coffee. coffee. Butter toffee coffee. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. It is. And I am drinking the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's great. You guys, it smells so good. Even before you drink it, it smells so good. Um, so for, so now let's get down to exactly what we <laughs> what we're here for. <laughs> Not um, to drink coffee? <laughs> Not to drink well to drink coffee and to talk about NR Enterprises, mm -hmm. your baby. It's my baby. Tell us a little bit about NR Enterprises. So in our enterprise, um I actually rebranded my business because I've actually been a business owner since late 2015. Okay. Um so in our enterprise was basically um after a few years of playing around in the business mm -hmm. and realizing, okay, I gotta put some structure to this. Yes. So, um, so it's basically an umbrella for several things that I do. Right. Um, one being uh, the the actual uh, big part of it is entertainment. Okay. So I'm a host or what many call an MC. Right. I'm a motivational speaker. I'm a promoter. Um, so I do big events. I do um, club events. Okay. <laughs> and that's fine. That's fine. Right. Oh, I bet. I have a good time doing that. I thought about doing that, but I didn't think I was going I was, you know, good at it. Well, I didn't think I could be a host, let me tell you. Really? Someone called me and said, Hey Natasha, and at this time I'm already, I'm already speaking. Mm -hmm. Um, and um he's actually a local radio DJ. Oh wow. And he called me and said, Hey Natasha, I'm, I got karaoke. You wanna host it for me? I was like, I never thought about doing right. that. But I speak and I can sing. Oh wow. So I did. And voila. And then in our <laughs> enterprises and just the whole umbrella of all the of whole that. umbrella. Um my, my motto is I set the standards, which is what many people know me by. Right. Is okay. the I set the standards logo um motto. But um so yeah, so we have the entertainment portion of things and then we have the networking portion of things. I work very closely with small businesses. Right, okay. Yeah. Um Primarily, Lady Boss, that's my networking organization of female business owners and prospective right. business owners. Right. So now, is Lady Boss kind of targeted to the Charlotte area, or are you like national or East Coast? Or? Well, we have we have some ladies that are all over, um, that are in our Facebook group. Um, we do have some ladies that are even now trying to come and host a monthly brunch okay for um these ladies so we have some that are now gravitating saying hey i'm coming to charlotte for this so hopefully at some point we will all of us convene in the same room but right nice. now primarily charlotte area so when is your monthly br brunch is it around the same time or do you sit to put out the dates how could mm -hmm. how are people able to connect with you as far as the lady bosses mm -hmm. So usually um, it is like the middle Sunday right now, but we okay. are getting ready to make some changes over the spring. So um, right now, the next brunch is actually next Sunday. So um, you can connect with me via um, my website, which is nrenterpriseLLC.com. 
and that's for everything. everything. That's for everything. Okay. That's for okay. everything. Um, just, you know, kind of reach out and there's a space there, of course, where you can just reach out to me and say, hey, I want to be a part of Lady Boss or even to book me for events and, you know, all that great stuff. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Now, you told me you are from New York. Mm -hmm. How long have you been in Charlotte? Uh, I've been in Charlotte. Uh, you know, I was thinking about this morning. I think 32 years now. Really? And you know, and I tell you, I'm going to tell you this. <clears throat> people, it used to be that people would ask me, where are you from? Mm -hmm. And I would say, Charlotte. Because, you know, the whole thing of, you've been here long enough to be from here now, Exactly. Right? right. Which, don't get me wrong, Charlotte is home. But what happened for me is, um, I, I, Charlotte, I came to Charlotte because I was adopted. Uh huh. What happened for me was when I started going back to the city, um, I realized that that is where my heart is. Okay. Right. You know when you go home and you take off your bra, you right? Like, and it's, you just get to relax and this that's is how me. New York is for me. Okay. You know what I but mean? But not Charlotte after thirty some years. No. Wow. And I know it sounds crazy, but um. Just my growing up, and pretty much that's that's what I set the standards is about. Growing up, I wasn't um, the happiest. I had a lot of things going on in my life. Right. But the very first time I went back to New York to visit for the first time, I felt like I belonged. Right. So that's why okay. when people ask where I'm from, I'll say originally from New York because right. that's always going to be home. Right. So... So if, if New York is home, is if New York is where the heart is, what keeps you here in Charlotte? My children. <laughs> <laughs> the kids do. They they have a my hold children. on you. They have a hold on. I you. mean, you know, my ch uh, my children are grown. I right. mean, my okay. baby is seven. He'll be seventeen in May. But um, let me just back up and say, I have to go to New York, and I stay there two, three weeks is my max, and I'm ready to come back to Charlotte. Okay. I just have to have a taste of it. Right. You know, I get to feeling like, oh, I got to breathe that air. Yeah. But really, um, I've considered moving somewhere Outside other than Charlotte. Charlotte. Okay. But my children, they, uh, they want to keep you here. Mostly my oldest and my youngest. My oldest is my only daughter. And okay. she and I are very close. Okay. Um, my baby boy, um, you know, he's not wanting to leave school. My dad and my brothers are here, and he's very close to them. Okay. Now, my middle child is military, so he's all over the place. Yeah, so, so he's gone. Yeah, so he's like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Stay, leave, do what you want to do. Right, right. So, I love Charlotte, and Charlotte has been good to me. Um, I actually moved from New York to Statesville, North Carolina. Okay. Okay, so you didn't land in Charlotte initially. Okay. But Statesville, Statesville. was like... Yeah. And Statesville is very... Yeah, I got to the point where I was just like, okay, this is not working. It's not it. So I came to Charlotte and, um, you know, so You've this been is, here. Yeah, and I mean, you know, Charlotte is Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte has been good to me in the business and I do have strong relationships here in Charlotte. So, mm -hmm. so you know, that's definitely the case, but definitely New York is, I have to get to New York. And my grandmother is right. still there. Just to get a taste of the air. I have Smell to breathe. The, yeah. Like, it's so crazy. Like, yeah. I have to breathe the air. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or, uh, you, you know, just hear the the noise. I have the to. The trains I and have everything. To. I have to. Wow. I have to. I, have to. I was home in May and my brother, <laughs> we were uh, in the projects. And I was leaned up against the wall of the elevator. He's like, yo, get off that. You, you know, people be, people be, and I'm right. And, and, and see, I'm not even from there. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm, a, I'm very um, like a germaphobe, but I was just like, I'm good. I'm home, honey. <laughs> yeah, you really comfortable up there. I'm telling you, you are really comfortable. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that's how it is for me. So, so let me ask you, because we are realtors here yeah. at Love Love Realty. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so what side of town do you live on here in Charlotte? So I live in Huntersville. Okay. So you're I'm outside. In the area. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you like about it up there? Gosh, where I am, there's, um, you can walk to anything. Right. You know what I mean? Like there's Target, there's upscale restaurants, there's fast food restaurants, there's, you know, there's just everything right there. Right. I love, I definitely love that. Um, it's, it's kind of quiet in a sense. It's not Charlotte crazy. Right. I love that I'm three minutes from the lake. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that's what I love. Um, I don't anticipate buying there. Um, okay. 
but uh, my son's in school, so like after he's finished with school, I'll be calling you guys saying, hey, I'm ready oh, for yeah. the house. And we will be ready. Right? <laughs> we will be ready to help you put down some roots yeah, in here, to buy out here in Charlotte <laughs> and South Carolina as well right now. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Now, let me ask you something. When you got into speaking and emceeing and hosting mm-hmm. events and things like that, what keeps you into it? So we know what, what kind of got you in there. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a fluke kind of thing. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But what keeps you in it? What's your motivation to stay going as far as this whole thing? So I'll tell you um, a couple of things. Um, My childhood was a little, which we all have a story of some sort. Um, I was adopted and Mm -hmm. growing up I wasn't accepted by my adopted family. Oh, wow. um, the, so the outside family, not right? Family. Not my parents, right? Exactly, because they, they adopted exactly, so exactly. So and here's the wow. crazy thing: is that my mothers were first cousins. Wow! But I'm from Harlem, and my mother, and my father, and all of my uncles were either involved in drugs, alcohol, or something like that. So we were look, we were frowned upon here in the South. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So, growing up, um, I, I felt out of place, and then you know, uh, a lot of it was that I was. Um, angry and rebellious and they didn't know how to they didn't know how to take that or Uh, treat it if you will so i I grew up kind of in an odd situation so that's what i initially was talking about Mm -hmm. you know um i set the standards as basically talking about how i tried to belong in those situations um and then when i was 20 years old um pregnant with my second child i acquired bell's palsy okay um, so I'm partially paralyzed on one side of my face. I don't hardly notice it anymore, but right. I like to speak to about it. it. Yeah. So I've been like this um, almost 23 years now. Okay. I've been like this. And what I love is um, I'm seeing it more often now and I can relate. So you're seeing it more often in other in women other people, or people? People, period. Okay. Um, my, my, one of my godchildren, he had it. Got him when he was 18 and just was depressed about it, but we became close because of that experience. Um, met a lady in the DMV line, and when we talked about it, she just cried because she'd never met anybody else that has had wow. it this long. I met another beautiful young woman that I just kind of approached her and said, do you have those palsy? And she said, I do, and I said, so do I. But for her, she was kind of still in the stages where she was just, you know, I we I used to do this thing when I first got it where I covered this all the mm-hmm, time. Mm-hmm. But now I'm speaking and taking pictures and yeah. which I never imagined I would do. So I get a lot of messages, phone calls, texts about how, you know, people admire the fact that I can be up front yes. with this condition and I'm just I'm humbled that other people can see that and hopefully hopefully emulate some of that because Yeah. Because that's what it takes a lot of times for some for you to see somebody who's living the same truth mm-hmm. that you are mm-hmm. and they're comfortable with mm-hmm. it. So it lets you know like okay I can be okay with this. Yes. You know? Now let me ask you, um, for people who don't know, because I don't know a lot about Bell's mm-hmm. palsy either, what exactly is Bell's palsy? So um n- no one really knows where it comes from. Okay. But it is paralysis of one side of the face. Okay. I was twenty and nine months pregnant and just woke up and this complete one side of my face was just drooped. Oh wow. So I thought I'd had a stroke. Right. <laughs> But for most people, it goes away immediately. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. For me, it damaged nerves. Well, first of all, they couldn't give me medication because I was nine months pregnant. Right, right. But um, for me, it damaged nerves, and it got better, but didn't completely heal. Wow. So as a result of that, I have a condition called um, hemifacial spasms. Okay. Which is the contracting and spasming of my face. So okay. if you spend every day with me, I may come in one day and you'll say, you having spasms because you can kind of tell the contra- of, is it the whole face or like just, just your that eye side. and just that side where the um, where I'm affected mm-hmm. yeah so you know sometimes I have the watery eye and mm-hmm. I, I'm really just grateful to God because I'm telling you I yes. really suffered from low self esteem and I, you know I didn't want to come out for months it was right. horrible but how did it affect you developing it right at the end of your pregnancy then having a baby to take care of well, it right doesn't after. really affect my physical um, activities. Right. But I was suffering from low self-esteem. Right. But at that time, when I had him, I was more concerned about him. Yeah. 
I was scared. Like, is this thing gonna affect my baby? But that choker was nine pounds, ten ounces, Ooh, and twenty-one Lord. inches long. Oh no! Mm -mm. <laughs> now hold on. And, and now he's twenty-two. He'll be twenty-three in April, and he's six-four. And like 270, 280. So oh, wow. He came out big and stayed He's been giving me a high since he was in the way. <laughs> Lord. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I always pick a hip and tell him, boy, you gave it to me. Yes. <laughs> now, I would have said that too. Now, you can't look now. You Ooh, done put honey. me through. Ooh. You owe me for the rest of your life. <laughs> now, with my oldest one, my first baby, and my last, I lost a tremendous amount of weight right after mm -hmm. that. I mean, even after I walked out the hospital, like I lost so much weight with my first and last one that I had to make myself gain weight. Really? Yeah, but with this one. The middle one. Oh my Lord. Now you see, they, they do say the middle children give <sighs> you the most problems. That one did. That's that middle child syndrome. He's, he started in the womb. <laughs> he started in the womb. Started in the womb and been doing it 23 years. Oh my goodness. I love my babies. I have good kids. I'm, I'm very fortunate. You know, they do yes. They do and go through things that kids do and go through. Yes. But it can yes. be so much more. Oh yeah, it definitely can. <laughs> now let me ask you, so back to in our enterprise and I set the standards and lady boss, what is something that you wish you had known at the beginning and starting these <laughs> enterprises or starting these ventures? What is something that you wish you had known or developed or somebody might have taught you before starting? Everything. <laughs> oh, I know it. Um, so when I started my business initially, I just wanted to design hats. Okay. So what now? Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. started from hats yes. to Entertainment. nothing having to do with hats. You're right. Wow. The okay. name of my company was Fitted Hatline LLC. Okay. Okay, so I love to tell the story. But the name of my company was Fitted Hatline. Um, I knew that I had the personality of a business owner, so right. I wanted to start a business. The first thing I did was went downtown and registered my name. Right. And the next thing I did was, okay, I want to sell hats. So I started buying wholesale hats. Okay. So I'm thinking, I need money to take a class to become a milliner. Do you know what that is? No, what is I didn't that? either. But um, milliners are the people that make hats. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Milliner is a hat maker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so I found a class in Wilmington that I really, really wanted to take. Okay. She made all these fancy first lady hats. And I wanted to do that. Right. So I said, I'll sell t-shirts. Okay. Um, my business is, for me personally, very spirit-led. Mm -hmm. You know, I listen to God, speak to God about all everything mm -hmm. I do. So I was driving down the street one day, and I'm like, what am I going to put on these t-shirts? And God gave me, I set the standards. Mm. And I'm literally having this conversation with him going, what am I going to do I set the standards? Well, what does that mean? This, yeah, right. I'm going to buy this shirt with these words on it. And he shared with me that this is you. Right. You had to you know, fight through some things, you know what I'm saying? And you no longer have to do that. Right. So right. I got tired of trying to belong or, or trying to fit in in relationships, friendships, mm -hmm. family settings. And so, okay, I put it on a shirt. Nice. Once I put it on the shirt, people started asking me where they come from. Right. And asking me to speak in different settings about I set the standards. Really? School settings, church settings, small business settings. Yeah, so I had it on a shirt, and I started speaking about it, and um, then, like I said, then a friend of mine who's a local DJ called me up and said, hey, and that's how the hosting part of it began. Wow. Yeah. So all of this started from hats. Wow. That and you know, I say that to say that, you, you know, it's... It's levels. I yeah. Level up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, level up. Hey. And that, that goes to show how a lot of times one vision can turn into something far greater than you mm -hmm. imagined it to be in mm -hmm. the first place. Mm -hmm. And I love it. I love every step of my journey because I feel like every step of my journey has attributed to where I am now and where I'm going. Now, and talking about your journey, what what are some stumbling blocks that you had in your journey that attributed to where you are now? So back to, because I didn't fully answer that question, and this would be the thing, is in the beginning, I didn't set a foundation for my business. Right. And that right, would right, right. definitely be the stumbling block, is me trying to personally finance my business. That don't work. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, um, me not knowing to separate my finances, business, and personal. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just setting a foundation, which is the first thing I wish someone would have showed me how to do in the beginning. Right. Um, and so I think that was a big stumbling block for me is not actually having a foundation. And so that is why one of the things that I do is teach small business right and i was just going to mention yeah that. yeah like yeah. What, when you teach the small business owners because we do for coffee with a queen we do cater to small business owners mm -hmm. what is something that our viewers like one nugget that you can share with our viewers like in the beginning stages what should they do uh the first thing is uh <laughs> it's so hard to say what the first thing is <laughs> but you know what you have to have the mindset like yeah. this ain't easy i think a lot of people yeah. think that um, we're just gonna put a name on it and we got a business. Yeah. No, or or you're just gonna put a name on it and put it out there. But you don't realize, and I tell my daughter, um, who's 24, she's wanting to start a business now, but I'm always on her about her social media. Yeah. You know, making sure that she carries herself in a way that others will say, you know, oh, I do want to deal with her and yeah. not the opposite. Right. So you have to have a, a mindset. That's, for me, the first thing. Okay. And be willing to um, be educated and learn because right. the learning part don't stop. It doesn't. It really <laughs> doesn't. Even with real estate, we have continuing education and stop. all kinds. Of, with every business, you are right. It does not stop because everything is constantly changing, and so it don't you have stop. to learn and grow with the time. Yeah, right? and so um, this year NRE will be doing um, our very first what I call who's the boss, uh, how to be a boss, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, how to be a boss, and um, that will be educating small business owners and prospective business owners on how to start and maintain their businesses. Oh, awesome. From different aspects. Okay. So we're talking business credit and financing. We're talking um, social media integrity. We're talking um, establishing a business, whether what type of corporation it is, right. and legal aspects of it. So we'll be talking about all of that stuff. That is very helpful yeah. to a lot of small business owners yes. out here. Um, now, let me ask you something. What, when you're doing this seminar or when you're doing the speaking engagements and things mm -hmm. like that, what are some things that makes it worth it? What makes it worth it for you to continue uh, doing this? I tell you the most gratifying thing. Um, is seeing people pull something from it. I, I yeah. can't tell you how many times I have logged onto Facebook and seen hashtag I set the standards. Really? Or seen profile pictures with my t-shirt that says I set the standards. Awesome. Or even with Lady Ball, seeing some of the relationships flourish into friendships and you know, supporting in each other's businesses, that is so gratifying to me. I bet. Yeah, I it bet. Really is. And I am definitely interested in oh, in learning please. more about Lady Boss. Because like please. I told you before we started interviewing, I feel like I've seen it or heard it somewhere. And just talking to you more, I'm like, okay, I'm definitely going to have to check this out some more. So I appreciate you for talking to me, sitting down, and t telling me and our viewers a little bit more about you and your your. In our enterprises, mm -hmm. I set the standards and mm -hmm. Lady Boss mm -hmm. and everything just what all got you here. I really appreciate that. Now, let me ask you, what are some of the upcoming events that you have going on? Mm. <laughs> so the first thing, um, I, one thing that I'm very known for in the city is karaoke. Oh, I love karaoke. Yes. I, I got some folks that call karaoke. me the karaoke queen. Really? I don't know about that. Yes. Um, I've hosted karaoke all over the city. Okay. But um, I host weekly at Mr. Charles Chicken and Fish. Are you familiar with that? I am not. Where is that? Let me tell you. Because first of all, it's not like I want to eat that. <laughs> you need to. Let me tell you, they are my favorite place in the world just because I love them. I just love them. And I've actually been hosting there with them a year and a half, maybe a little over a year wow. and a half. Every single Friday from 8 to 12. And it's in Cambridge Commons off of Harrisburg Road. Okay. I am familiar. Okay. In the food line shop? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Yes, every Friday I'm there hosting karaoke. And if you come, you got to come just a little early because it, it, it gets packed. Really? It gets packed. Okay. Um. So that's my weekly event. Um. This coming Sunday at 1 o'clock, I'll be hosting February's Lady Boss Brunch at Mr. Charles. And that date is? The 16th. February 16th, mm -hmm. okay. February 16th. February 16th. We'll be hosting um, the Lady Boss Brunch. Now, um, I, I like to ask people to 
you know, let me know ahead of time so that my right. seating will be available. But I will not tell you, you cannot come if you just show up. Okay. Because the information is great. Um, but if you are interested in coming, then um, the ticket is $16. Okay, $16. And you just, just, just um, message me, go onto the website, and okay. Enterprise LLC, and just message me and let me know that you want to come. Um, and it'll be March the same. Um, okay. We don't have a date yet for March, but if you follow my page, any of my social media pages on my website, you'll find it there. And while we're talking about that, mention what your social media pages and website are. So my Facebook is NR Enterprise LLC. So it's NR and then Enterprise LLC. Okay. Um, and there's also I Set the Standards on Facebook and our Instagram is I Set the Standards. Okay, so NR Enterprise is not on Instagram. No, nope. it's okay, I Set the Standards. Facebook. And I set the standards for Facebook and and um, Instagram. You can find me anywhere. I set and the then, standards. <laughs> and then in our enterprises dot com. In our in our enterprise LLC dot com. Yes. Okay. And then the last event that's really big for me is the How to Be a Boss event. I'm really excited. Awesome. We get so much feedback throughout Charlotte really? about this event. That's going to be held April 11th. Okay. Um, April 11th from one to four at. Holiday Inn University. Okay, awesome, awesome. So we'll have vendors. And how do people register for this? Yes, it is on Eventbrite. Okay. At How to Be a Boss. How to Be a Boss on Eventbrite. Mm -hmm. And are you are you having vendor space open, or mm -hmm. do you are are you already full? No, we we do have vending space open. Um, we have we have, quite, we have a few tables because I just posted it two weeks ago. Even okay. though the feedback has been tremendous, tremendous. right? Yes. So I'm telling people. Go ahead now and get your table. So we do have some tables available on there, and it's a fair. So you, you know, okay, you're kind awesome. of you know, you're kind of walking around. You hear some speaking. Um, I have uh, the Connected Radio and Magazine. They're going to be a part of it, so I'm okay. excited about that. But that's April 11, one to four. You can definitely go on to um my website. You can email me too as well if you need to. And Natasha at in our Enterprise LLC about okay. vending space. But um, if not, definitely the tickets are ten dollars right now. I encourage everybody to come out. Yes, that's that's an awesome, mm -hmm. and I feel like that'll be an awesome investment oh for people to just come out and learn. People are so excited and network as well. Yes. Yeah. Yes, the networking opportunity is amazing. I have some amazing people and some amazing businesses that are just coming to be a part. I'm excited. That's awesome. I'm excited. That's awesome. So hopefully we'll see Level Up in now. Yeah, <laughs> Level Up is definitely going to try to be in the building. We love to be out in the community. Um, yeah. Natasha, thank you so much thank you. for thank you. coming and speaking with me. Everyone, you can follow us on Facebook or like our page on Facebook, Level Up Realty. Follow us on Instagram at The Real Agents of Charlotte as well as Level Up Realty. Check us out at www.levelupbrealty.org. And last but not least, Natasha, who are the baddest queens in Charlotte? Mm, I think it's the real agents of Charlotte. Yes, here at Level Up Realty. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I appreciate you for I coming. I appreciate being here. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>